Hello everyone, this is Dragonold, and welcome to the final episode of How to the Hogwarts in Minecraft. And no, that does not mean this is the last episode of the series, it just means it's the final episode of the main bulk of Hogwarts, so everything behind me basically. Don't worry, there will still be more episodes to come. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit confusing, isn't it? And so the first thing I do want to say before we get started is thank you so much to everyone who has stuck by and watched this series. Honestly, it's been such an incredible journey going from episode one and now we're on episode 27, almost, you know, 25 or so weeks later, which is just absolutely incredible. So thank you guys so, so much. We started this series on about 500 subscribers and we're now at 5,000. So our growth, we've grown 10 times, which has been absolutely incredible. So thank you guys Thank you guys so, so much. It means so much to me. And it's really, really appreciated. And so thank you to everyone who has followed the tutorial and supported me. And a special shout out to all of you guys who are supporting me on Patreon, my Discord moderators, and the YouTube members. So thank you guys so, so much. And once you have completed this episode, you are now eligible for the Marauder role in my Discord server, which is a special role to show off everyone who has completed my tutorial. And so make sure to join my Discord server and share a picture of your completed Hogwarts and you will receive the role. And it does have a very nice, super fancy purple colour, and I love it so much. And so today, we basically are just going to be polishing stuff off, adding all of the stuff I have forgotten, which is the Great Hall balcony over there, the Stone Bridge, the Astronomy Tower Courtyard over there, and of course, this gap behind right here. And so I guess to start off, we'll just go ahead and fix in this gap. Basically, what we're gonna do is just extend this wall going all the way down, until it does meet this archway right here. Very simply, just building in and filling in all the cut sandstone. Let's go ahead and fill this all up, going all the way to the top with cut sandstone or whichever block you are using, just like so. And that's what go on, just like that. And then of course, very simply, we just need to go ahead and extend the staircase, going all the way down, just like that. And the exact same thing over here as well. And that's what we'll look, just like that. And then next, we are going to add on the astronomy tower courtyard, which I just completely forgot after the end of episode 14. I suppose I was just so excited about having completed the astronomy tower. But anyway, let's go ahead and add this in. And so the first thing you're going to do is very simply, yeah, it's just going to fill in the floor with cut sandstone along our foundations level, just like so, going all the way along. Very simply, just filling out the entire area with cut sandstone. And that will go on just like that, very simply just filling out the entire area. And then what we're going to do is just build a line going all the way across along the front face of the courtyard, going all the way along, just like so, to the end, just like that. And then very simply, what we're going to do is just add in some battlements going all the way along, just like so, placing blocks on each alternate block to create some battlements going all the way along, just like so. And they will end just there, just like that. And there, very simply, that is the astronomy tower courtyard now done. And the next thing we need to add is the stone bridge. And so what we are going to do is come along this line just below this window right here and come to this block right here. And very simply just build a diagonal line going all the way across to that tower over there. Of course, this line will be on top of the foundations below, just down there. And so very simply, just carry on this diagonal line all the way along until it comes into this tower over here. Just like that, just there. Of course, it will be directly on top of the foundations below. The exact same thing on the other side. And so coming across from this window right here, going all the way across until it comes to this block right here. Of course, once again, on top of those foundations right there, and then going across diagonally until we do come across into the next tower. And those will go on just like that. And if you are wondering how high this line is above the foundations, it is the foundations level, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks, just like that just in case your windows aren't in the same place as mine. And then very simply, what we're going to do is just fill in the gap between these two lines along here, and this will form the main walkway of the bridge between the two towers. And so just fill it in, just like so. And then the next thing we're going to do is just add in some sandstone walls going all the way across, on top of all of these diagonal blocks going all the way along, to act as a sort of railing for the fence. The exact same thing on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten just like that. And then very simply place in some cut sandstone slabs on top of all of these walls going all the way along, just like that. And then the same thing on the other side, just like so. And that will look just like that. And then the next thing we're going to do is just build down one more layer of cut sandstone below this bridge going all the way along and just bring this entire area down 
by one more block, just like so. So basically, this area will be two blocks thick, just like that. However, break out the four diagonal middle blocks, so this one, this one, this one, and this one, just there, and then place in four slabs in their place, just like that. So it should be three blocks, and then four slabs, and then three blocks, just like that. And then the same thing on the other side. So break out the middle four blocks, just like that, and then replace them with some sandstone slabs, just like so. And then the next thing you're going to do is come to this block right here and place in three slabs, going all the way upside down, just like that, just there. And the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, just like that. Of course, it should all be symmetrical. And then place in two blocks behind here, and then three blocks behind those, just like that. The same thing on the other side, two blocks here, and then three blocks behind those, just like that. And then bring these two blocks here down by one more block, just there. The same thing on the other side, just like so. And then place a block right here, just like that. And then come across diagonally, three blocks, just like so, to look like that. And then you can go ahead and bring these down all the way down to the foundations, just like so, just like that. And then the same thing on the other side, a block just here. And then once again, come across diagonally, just like that. And then once again, bring these all the way down to the foundations, just like so. And that will look just like that. And then, using some cut sandstone slabs, place in one there, and then one there, just like that, and then two above, just like so. The same thing on the other side, two here, just there, and then two more on top, just like that. And then one, two, three, and then one, two, three on top, just like that. And then the same thing on the other side, so one, two, three, and then one, two, three, just like so. And then one, two, one, two, same thing over here, one, two, one, two, just like that. And then one, two, one, two, one, two, just there. And then the final thing on the other side, one, two, just like that. And then what we're going to do is smash out these four foundation blocks right here. So one, two, three, four, and these ones right here as well. One, two, three, four. And then just fill in the foundation area right here with cut sandstone, just like that. And the same thing on the other side, just like so. And then with some sandstone walls, what we're going to do is just come down, blow these blocks right here with some sandstone walls in these gaps right here, the same thing over here as well, just like that. And then the same thing on the other side, bring in some sandstone walls just there, and some sandstone walls just here, just like that. And there we have it, that is the design for the stone bridge. And of course, if you do want to bring it down further to fit into your landscape, very simply, what you need to do is just bring these blocks down along here, just like so, going all the way down in a very simple diagonal fashion, just like that. Just bring these down as far as you wish. For example, going down like this, if your landscape was of a V going down just like that. And of course, we will cover the landscape in a later episode. And so that is the stone bridge now done. And so finally, the last thing you're going to do in this main tutorial is add on the balcony of the Great Hall. And so very simply what we're going to do is come across to this block right here, which is sort of to the left of the main bold of the circle right here, and place a block just there. And then, very simply, go across 38 blocks diagonally. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Just like that. And then, very simply, come across three blocks to the left. So 1, two, three, just like that. And then very simply come across 18 blocks diagonally. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, just like that. And then once again, come across three blocks to the left. So one, two, three, just like that. And then very simply just come across and come all the way across diagonally until you do hit the connecting building over there just like so. And so those are the Great Hall balcony foundations, just like that. And then the next thing we need to do very simply is just of course fill in the entire balcony area with cut sandstone, just like so, going all the way along, just filling in all of the gaps along, just like so. Very simply, just going all the way down, all the way around the Great Hall. And so let's go ahead and do that.
and then the next thing we need to do is just add on the railing going all the way around. And so very simply come to this first block right here and place the block there and then another block just here and then very simply just leave a two block gap and then a block and then two block gap and then a block just like so and repeat this pattern going all the way down and so leave two blocks, a block, 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 leave two blocks, a block and then finally leave two blocks and the block just there. And then once again, you guessed it, leave two blocks and then a block. And then of course the same thing go down here as well. Leave two blocks and then a block. Leave two blocks, a block, two blocks, a block, two blocks, a block, two blocks, a block, and then two blocks and then a block. And then once again, two blocks and then a block. And then of course the same thing going all the way down here. So two blocks, a block, 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 two blocks, a block. Two blocks, a block, two blocks, a block, two blocks, a block, two blocks, and then a block just there, just like that. And then very simply, what we need to do is just place in sandstone walls in between all of these blocks, going all the way along, just like so, putting sandstone walls in the gaps, going all the way around the entire balcony, just like so. And there you go, those go on just like that. And then the final thing we need to do is just add on some cut sandstone slabs going all the way around the entire balcony on top of every single block, just like so. And there we go, that is the balcony now complete. And so here we are after 27 episodes of progress, and my gosh, it looks absolutely amazing. And so thank you guys so, so much to everyone who has supported me through this amazing journey. Thank you guys so much, don't worry, it is not finished. There will still be more tutorials to come on other Harry Potter locations. I'm planning to the borrow one really soon since a lot of you guys do want it. And so make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you do not miss that episode. And so that is all from me for today's episode. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. It does mean the world to me that you guys have made it this far and been this patient and stuck with me for 27 episodes. Thank you guys so, so much. It really does mean the world to me. And so I'll see you guys in my next video which will most likely be the landscaping, I think. Probably Java tutorial first, and then we'll do a Bedrock one. But maybe we'll do the Burrow tutorial before both of them, you know, to mix stuff up a bit. I don't know. Depends what you guys want. Let me know down in the comment section which tutorial you guys want next. And so, I'll see you guys in the next episode. And thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers. And so, I'll see you guys all then.